Amber and Mikey. Divide these 24 marbles between both of you and let me know how much each of you should have. The answer is 12 marbles each. Well done Amber. However, you spent quite a long time getting that answer. Suppose you had 100 marbles. That would be tiresome. There is a quicker way to arrive at the same result. If you need to divide 24 by 2, you start by writing the figures in this way. Next, divide the tens by 2. 2 goes one time into the tens digit 2. Write 1 above the grid and 2 below the tens 2. Subtract 2 from the tens 2. You will obtain a 0. Next, Copy the 1's digit 4 to the right of 0. Divide the 1's 4 by 2. 2 goes 2 times into the 1's 4. Write 2 above the 1's place and 4 below the 4 inside the grid. Subtract to obtain 0. So, the answer is 12. As you can see children, we got the same answer as earlier. However, the long division method helps us to get the answer in a much shorter time. Here is how we can quickly divide 36 by 3 using the same method. 3 goes one time into the tens 3. And two times into the ones six to give us the answer twelve. We have just seen how we can divide twenty four by two using the long division method. Amber, can you tell me if it's possible to divide these twenty five marbles by two? I'll try. divide 25 marbles by 2 because I have one extra marble left. Also, if you notice, there is no 25 in the 2 times table. If you try dividing 25 marbles in 2 groups, you are left with one extra marble. That leftover marble is called the remainder in division. Let's use the long division method to find what would be the remainder if we divide 38 by 3. Start with tens. 3 tens is divided by 3. 3 goes one time into tens 3. Subtract 3 from 3 which equals 0. Bring the 1's digit down. 3 goes 2 times into 8. On subtracting 6 from 8, we get the remainder as 2 and not 0. Forgive me for interrupting the class, ma'am. I have a question. May I ask? Surely, go ahead. What if the tens number is smaller than the divisor? For example, 
What if we have to divide 24 by 3? Since 2 is less than 3, it would not be possible to divide it by 3, isn't it? Very nice question, Ollie. In such cases, if it's a two-digit number, we need to consider the number as a whole. You would need to look up the multiplication tables. For example, the multiplication table here says that 3 times 8 is 24. Therefore, your answer would be 8. Thank you, ma'am. You make it so simple. Hi, friends. Here's a quick recap. Long division of numbers is written in the form of a grid. It is performed using multiplication tables. The number left behind after division, which cannot be divided further, is called the remainder. While performing long division of two-digit numbers with the tenth digit smaller than the divisor, we need to consider both the digits for division.